it's just it's so much to fight against like who needs to be fighting against each other on top of the powers that be we are supposed to be making love right you having a romantic relationship with me is not supposed to be a financial transaction that's insanity right it started off in love but then when it didn't go your way I saw you and I liked you because you had a fat ass. You looked at me and you said, I bet that nigga got a big wallet. <laughs> right. <laughs> a big wallet? That's all she thought. I did not think you were going to go there. She ain't look at me and said that nigga got a big old wang tie. I thought that's where you were going. That's I'm not, not, I'm not that arrogant. I think that's where a woman <laughs> scorned, like when a woman is scorned and bitter, it will have her do some irrational things. And I think women, for those women that... And I'm just imagining, like, if you're a woman and you really, in your heart of hearts, really feel like child support is a choice. Like, I would like to know your rationality. But in my, when I think about it, I feel like it's a woman that was in love. Mm -hmm. The man did some things that maybe she didn't agree with. And she became a woman that was scorned and bitter. I want to interject. Yeah. I think she's just poor. Mm -hmm. I think most women who want child support are economically challenged people mm -hmm. and they don't know how they're going to re get the resources to raise this child. Okay. And they do not have the humility to be a feminine woman and go to that man and just be of service and a good woman. And so they project and say, you and me, you supposed to have this. Hey, like if you're man, you just decide to be an amazing woman, whatever that man needs to be a provider. If he needs you to make his lunch, if he don't, if he ain't good at having no resume, baby, you have to support the man because that person right there is the only person who gives a damn about that child. Right. And so you better have a vested interest in that man. Yeah. If you run to the state and go tell the state to come and tell me what to do, my agenda right now is for every American man who's on child support, we need 10 million American men to go to your uh, capital of your, ci your city or your state mm -hmm. and go tell these people, you're not going to hold me hostage financially anymore. Yeah, I, You can't tell me to take care of another person's family when I can't take care of myself. Yeah. That's irrational. And right. if you tell me that I need to have the financial resources to do it, then I need a national labor contract. Mm -hmm. I need every man in America to be guaranteed $27 an hour with pay vacation and paid sick leave and paternal leave if you make that a federal mandate then we can have a conversation on you telling me to go take care of my responsibilities until then <laughs> you're going to take your hands out of my pocket yeah because it's forceful yeah but it's extortion it's coercion yeah. Yeah, and if you don't pay it, you're going to get locked up. And, and I'm so you get mad. Out of jail, you can't have your driver's license. Kanye West, I'm mad at you, brother. Like, you over there talking about some Jews, and the only thing that you should be talking about is the <laughs> abolishment of child support. I swear to goodness, if Kanye West right, ran for president right. and said, I'm going to abolish child support, he'd win. That would be so dope. There'd be so many mad women in around the world. So many men don't vote. And so if you want to get men engaged in, in the political system, Make a financial incentive. Mm -hmm. If you vote for me, Republican Party, this is a key. This is a key talking point. If you want to have people come vote for you, <laughs> you tell men in America that you're going to abolish child support and watch how many people come vote. I think that would free up a lot of the debt in America. <laughs> and, and any woman and any woman, if you want to force child support, I dare 10 million women to go to the, the capitals just like the men and go have a standoff. Don't do it. Don't listen to him. <laughs> women do not go down there and face off because these women already think they go so hard i am an Don't american person i believe in fighting for freedom and if you want any liberty in america i think you should be willing to fight for it you should be willing to do whatever it takes to get that freedom and that liberty you should stand behind those men that are fighting for their freedom and to support them and the fact that that's what they need i Not believe that opposite. every every woman in america has the right to to choose who she engages in sexual encounters with for sure every woman in america has the right to decide whose child that she would have for sure and i have the right not to like you mm -hmm. and you can have that baby i don't want to have anything to do with you or that baby what's up yeah and you can't tell me not to have sex I, that's my human right to be able to have a healthy yeah. sexual relationships yeah. You better stop being ridiculous. It is your right. I mean, and, you know, to those women that hate that, the fact that he said that, I mean, it's painful, but that doesn't mean that it's not true. Somebody can choose not to like you the same way that you choose not to like. You know what's painful? Mm. I ain't seen my children in 13 days. Mm. That's painful. Yeah.